So I would like to welcome you this afternoon. First and foremost to His Excellency Piotr Wilczek, Ambassador of the Republic of Poland, and Sir Andrew Pulford, Air Chief Marshal and Deputy Lieutenant, and all of our wonderful guests here today at Newark Cemetery. We're here to mark the 80th anniversary of the death of General Władysław Sikorski as we come together to officially unveil a statue of the General. We had arranged for a Battle of Britain Memorial Flyover this afternoon. Unfortunately, we are very disappointed to tell you that that has had to be cancelled today due to the weather. I would now like to invite to the stage Marta Dzuzuniga of the Polish Cultural Institute in London and sculptor Andrew Lilly. All and any decision and every twist of fate that might further compromise his nation. Like Sisyphus, he was compelled to wake every single day and hoist the weight of his nation back onto his shoulders, pushing it once more up the mountain with absolutely no idea what the outcome might be. Sadly, he never would. If I'd sought to sculpt that General Sikorsky, he would have been 50 feet high with shoulders like a castle keep shining like a second sun. So I put aside hindsight and sought an insight. I wanted to find the man and give him a place and a time. As a general, it seemed to me that there was no place that he would rather be than with his men. Indeed, it was his heartfelt desire to be right here in New York. Boże nasz Ojcze, zwracamy się do Ciebie w tej uroczystej chwili, gdy stajemy przed pomnikiem generała Władysława Sikorskiego. Dziękujemy Ci za jego odwagę i poświęcenie, za jego nieustanne dążenie do wolności i sprawiedliwości. W ciężkich czasach uchodźstwa reprezentował naszą polską tożsamość, prowadząc ludzi przez najciemniejsze chwile. Walczył z odwagą i uczciwością, inspirował innych do wytrwania w obliczu niesprawiedliwości. Niech jego przykład inspiruje nas wszystkich, by być wiernymi ideałom i nieustannie pracować na rzecz dobra wspólnoty. Thank you, Canon Bogdan Kowalski and Canon Michael O'Donoghue. General Sikorski, one of the most outstanding Polish statesmen of the 20th century, dedicated his life to the pursuit of freedom and independence for his beloved homeland. From his early years, serving in the Austrian army during Poland's partition, to his involvement in underground independence activities and his leadership in the Polish legions, General Sikorski demonstrated unwavering determination and political acumen. He played a pivotal role in creating a modern unified, unified armed force and preventing a civil war during a time of deep crisis. When World War II engulfed Europe, General Sikorski emerged as a beacon of hope for millions of Poles. As Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the Polish Armed Forces, he led his countrymen in battles fought in France, Norway and Poland
you're welcome to be seated.